Okay, so I wanted to make this video to tell you what I'm ranking for my residency, like rank order list for match day. So I am a fourth year medical student or student doctor. And what you do is your fourth year, you submit applications for residency. And residency is your three years typically. It can be longer than that depending on the specialty. But the average for like the core internal medicine, family med, peds, that kind of stuff, it's all three years. And then that's when you're getting paid as like an actual doctor, but you're still learning. So you're still studying all the time. And you have preceptors like older physicians that teach you along the way and stuff. So you're not like on your own, but it's still where you're like a real doctor. So I am so nervous for residency. I don't feel like I'm prepared at all. I did not have any exams this year, so I haven't studied that much. And I don't know, I'm hoping that like it's buried deep and it'll just come out, you know? But anyway, people tell me just to take it easier fourth year so that you can soak it out all that time up as much as possible because in residency, you're not gonna get a lot of free time. So I'm trying to absorb it. Anyway, so I always wanted to do internal medicine. That was what my heart was set on from the first year of medical school because I thought I wanted to do endocrine. And I have struggled with like obesity my whole life. And so for me, I found out about endocrine and I was like, you know, that might be like, what I'm meant to do because I could use endocrinology, which is like, you know, hormone stuff. So, um, diabetes, thyroid stuff, like that is the main bread and butter stuff. So I could use that and teach people, you know, from my past experiences of being overweight, maybe do weight loss medicine with that somehow. I've never had diabetes or thyroid issues and neither has anyone in my family except my dad has type two diabetes. But, so I could just feel that God could kind of call me in that direction and I could really make a difference with my past experience and being, you know, sympathetic to people that are trying to lose weight, that are diabetic because of their lifestyle, like type 2 diabetes type stuff, if I wanted to take that route. But your third year of med school, or at least in my school, you get one selective rotation or elective. Anyway. So I chose endocrinology and you really have to be pretty strategic with your elective your third year because other than that, you're doing the core stuff. Like you're doing internal medicine, peds, one month of peds, I think. Um, what else do we do? Family medicine, like rural medicine. I can't remember, but you only get one like selective. So I chose endocrine and I'm glad I did because I was so set on internal medicine because you have to do the three years of internal medicine residency and then two years of fellowship in endocrinology. And internal medicine really offers you like the most fellowship opportunities. It's kind of like the gateway. So cardiology, pulmonology, all that kind of stuff is all internal medicine. I mean, unless you want to do pediatrics because that's different. Internal medicine is mainly adult medicine, like 18 and over. So that kind of bummed me out too, because honestly, I've always wanted to treat kids because I've gone on like mission trips and I've always been drawn to the children. And I have like children in my family that I love to be around. And so I knew that I had a heart for kids and it did kind of bother me that I thought that if I did internal medicine, that I probably wouldn't be treating kids with endocrine after that. So I got to thinking and I was like, if I want to do internal, I need to really commit to endocrine because other than that, if I do like outpatient medicine, so like in a clinic as an just internist, like doing internal medicine in a clinic, then that's only adults. So I kind of felt the pulling last summer to apply to family med, but I never really wanted to admit it to myself because I was so stuck on internal medicine. But finally, when I was filling out my applications, the night I was about to submit, so last September, my husband says, why don't you just go ahead? I kept mentioning family med and he was like, why don't you just go ahead and apply to family medicine? And I was like, okay. 
thank you so much because I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I felt like I needed permission for it to be okay to apply to something besides inter internal medicine, which is crazy. It was just, I felt like I had committed to that. But anyway, and all three of my recommendation letters were internal medicine. So I did still apply to internal medicine. I applied to family med, internal, and med peds. And so I, med peds was just kind of like something that I thought about. I was like, why not give it a shot? But throughout, before I even really interviewed, I kind of decided that I didn't want to do med peds because med peds is in bigger cities and I'm just kind of tired of bigger cities. I want to be somewhere in a smaller, like community based hospital and more of just the down to earth people, you know, not, I don't know. I just didn't want to be in the bigger city. So also med peds is four years. So it's two of internal medicine and two of pediatrics and it's just more intense. And a lot of people just end up doing fellowships in either one and either internal or peds afterwards anyway. So they're not really using their <laughs> med peds residency. I don't know. You can do med peds fellowships, but they're rare. So anyway, and even that'd be even in the even bigger cities. <laughs> so I just decided that med peds was probably not it for me. I did a, like apply an interview at some, but I didn't rank any of those. What I did rank though was family medicine and internal medicine. And I actually ended up deciding that family med was the way to go. Throughout my interview process, I kind of like found out what I was looking for, kind of what residents, you know, I would fit in with. That was the biggest thing for me was if I would fit in with the residents at that program. And I didn't apply to places that I didn't feel like I'd fit in. So if they only had MDs in their program, I didn't apply there because I'm a DO student, a doctor of osteopathic medicine. And sometimes that can kind of be looked down upon. And I didn't want to go to a place that did that in any way. So if they didn't have DOs in their program already, I didn't apply. And then I only applied in the South because I only wanted to be in the South for family med. And so I, and internal med. So I stuck to Louisiana, Alabama, Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi. Yeah, that. And I'm from Mississippi and my husband's from Louisiana. So anyway, that was kind of near home for us. So that's why we stuck to geographic location. That was a big one for me. How well I fit in with the residents and work-life balance. Those were probably my top three. So here's what happened. I went to my interviews and fell in love with the idea of me in the future being a family physician. That point of contact that you're kind of the organizer of people's health. Like you are in charge of making sure they have all their vaccinations up to date or go and get your screenings for your colonoscopy or mammogram or whatever. And you can be kind of the lead point when they come in with all these weird symptoms and you're like, okay, let's get behind this. And you can decide how you want to, you know, run their labs or whatever to screen them for certain stuff. Or you can decide when they need to go see certain specialists and you're the one that kind of organizes all of that. So I kind of love that. And you can treat kids, which is was a big thing for me, being if I did outpatient medicine. You can still do internal, okay, sorry, misspoke. You can still do hospital medicine as a family physician or ER as a family physician, especially if you do like rural medicine. So in a small town, they will likely hire you as a hospitalist or an ER physician if you're just family like family med, but in most bigger cities, they want their hospitalists to be internal medicine and they want their ER physicians to either have an ER fellowship from family med residency or straight ER residency. So anyway, you can also do sports med after family medicine, like as a fellowship, which is something that I will consider. I'm not super interested in that, but my husband's a PT, a physical therapist, so it would be kind of cool to like work together somehow, but regardless. So back to my rank list. I ended up ranking 12 places. 
So I did nine family med and then three internal medicine. And honestly, the internal medicine is kind of just like a safety net for me. I would be happy at any of these 12 places. So let me say that because when you rank for residency, wherever you match is binding. Like that's a contract. So you have to rank places that you'd actually want to be. Like if you ranked somewhere and you match there and then you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even want to be there. You can't really back out. Like I don't know what the repercussions would be. But, I mean, not like jail or something, you know, but I don't know the repercussions. But anyway, it's a binding contract, so you really need to be, like, serious about what you're ranking. And so, I ranked 12 places in the order, obviously, that I wanted to get, like, my preference order. I didn't rank, like, my safety net, I ranked last, if that makes sense. Because if I was pretty confident in this one place, which I won't mention my last rank for that reason, but... If I was pretty confident that I'll get this one place, then why would I rank anything under that? And I'm definitely not going to rank it first if it's not my first pick. You know, I don't want to just rank a safety net first to just match. So anyway, my first preference is Foley, Alabama, which is South Baldwin Regional Medical Center. And when I went to that interview, I was blown away. I was so just like amazed at how nice everybody was. I fit in well with the residents. The program director seemed great, like everything. They housed us that night, um, like they paid for our hotel room on the beach. Amazing. So location, prime. <laughs> fit in with the residents, prime. And then um, just overall, it just seemed like a good fit. And when I started this process, one sec, I prayed to God that he would just make me really excited about the place that I was supposed to rank first because I didn't really want to be confused. I didn't want to wonder and like, you know, be that inner turmoil. How do you say that? Anyway, I didn't want to like have an inner war about where I would rank first versus second, whatever. So from the get go, I've been so excited about Foley. And I explained it to my husband. I've even, we've even driven over there and like toured it a little bit after the interview. And we're both just so excited about Foley. So we knew that that's going to be number one. We were also really excited about Conway, Arkansas. So that's number two and number three. Number two is Conway for me. And number three is their rural program, rural <laughs> program that is called Dardanelle. It's in Dardanelle, Arkansas. Anyway, but it's the same program. It's just their traditional and then their rural, rural track. I'm trying to say, like, enunciate. <laughs> anyway, so those are my top three. And then number four for me was Jackson, Tennessee. I loved all of these programs, honestly. It was so hard to, like, rank them. And different reasons why, which I won't totally get into. But number five for me was Jackson's rural, rural program in Martin, Tennessee. And so then number six was Cahaba, which is a part of UAB's like residency programs, I believe. And it's a rural track in Centerville, Alabama. So that would have been really cool. The thing with the rural tracks for me is it's kind of like, it's really interesting. It'd be really good training, but you have to do one of, th of the three years in the bigger city and then the other two in the small town because you have to still meet the ACGME requirements. So that one year getting all like your inpatient medicine and ER and all that good stuff is spent in that bigger city that's an hour away at everywhere that I went that had that I interviewed at both the rural and the traditional they were an hour apart and so you can't like stay and drive because you have to be on call anyway sometimes regardless so I then ranked Covington, Louisiana, which is St. Tammany or Oshner as the next one. I forget which number I'm on, but it was a great program and I really hit it off with the faculty. The only thing is they're brand new and I came from a brand new res residency. <laughs> I came from a brand new medical school and so it just has growing pains and I kind of just don't want a residency program that's brand new because 
of just that growing pains that I've already been through. And like, there's also a lot of perks to having a new place because you really get, you know, more one-on-one -on -one action with the action, <laughs> more one-on-one -on -one, like mentoring and, you know, learning from the preceptors and stuff. But anyway, I loved it though. That place is going to be phenomenal. I went and toured their family medicine residency clinic that they had built for the residency, like specifically amazing. It's beautiful. So highly suggest checking that program out if you're going to do family medicine. Okay. So since we were so excited about Foley, we were praying about it and we have been praying for our house since October. We ended up, I reached out through Zillow, <laughs> like said that I was interested in a house. I think this was in January and they like connected me with a random realtor in the Baldwin County area and she contacted me and she was so sweet oh my goodness and so I was like god this is just you laying this all out and we ended up meeting with her like and going and touring some houses and we thought we'd end up having to rent the first year because you don't find out till March 15th and then I have to move out of this apartment May 15th. So I was like, two months is not enough time to buy a house, like to get approved for a loan and buy a house. But she was like, no, we actually have a bunch of new builds here in Baldwin County and the with their financing stuff, it's actually gonna be cheaper for us to buy a house than it is to rent, which is mind boggling, but anyway. So that's really exciting because that was just another thing that we felt like God was answering that prayer, you know, and she even set me up with this uh, mortgage lender and I talked to him a bit and he just started going, just talking about like God and he was like, he was like, oh gosh, I keep saying like all the time. I'm so sorry. He mentioned how, you know, he said, I believe that if you pray for it and you believe in faith, then God will answer that prayer. And I did not even mention that I was Christian. And so I just, like, I agreed with that and I felt like God was laying it all out again. And so fast forward to actually another thing. In order to get approved for this loan for this house, my husband, he said that my husband needed a job, you know, so he'd have to have a contract from my husband's job and then my contract for residency. And so my husband had to go ahead and apply for PT jobs in Foley and hope that like blind faith, they would offer him a job because he told them and explained that we would not be able to commit until March 15th. And he got a job. And so, God's just answering our prayers left and right. We are holding the faith that he has placed us in fully because he's always answered our prayers. He wants the best for us. He literally, he loves you unconditionally. He always wants your greatest happiness. You know, like that's the kind of God he is. So it's March 8th. It's Friday, March 8th. I found out Monday. I find out Monday if I matched, and then if I did, then I find out next Friday the 15th where I matched. So I'll keep y'all posted. We're super excited. Of course, the enemy's trying to attack and put it in my head that I need to be preparing to go to other places on my rank order list, but I'm not gonna think about that. We will deal with that if it happens, but right now I'm choosing to believe and I'm choosing to have faith and be excited that God's answering our prayers and that we're going to go to Foley. So <laughs> I'm being really vulnerable putting this out there because most people don't tell you at all where they ranked because it's just like scary, but especially if you don't get it, but I'm, I'm confident in God and his power and what he's been able to do in my past to answer my prayers and to go before me. And yeah, so we're going to keep the faith, but I'll keep y'all posted. I'm going to make a video next week when me and Connor go to Bay St. Louis for a little mini vacation for match day. And I'll record myself opening my email to tell me where we matched. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.